Hello guys, this is Sora from FlexAcademy.com and welcome to your third UI part tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm just going to give you a simple example of uh, um, of the process, and I'm going to automate the process. And uh, the purpose of creating this uh, tutorial is uh, it will give you a brief idea what UI path can do and what is the RPA robotic process automation. So let's get started. Uh, first, I will show you the manual process. The manual process is uh, the user will open the uh, Internet Explorer and go to google.com. In the Google search bar, search bar, it is going to type Nifty. Enter. It will take the uh, Nifty price, copy it, open Notepad, and it is going to enter the Nifty price in a Notepad, and that's it. This is the simple workflow what we are going to create with the auto, uh, with the UI path. So I'm just going to close or let it be like this. First, what we need to go do is we need to open our UI Path Studio. Continue trial blank. I'm going to give name like simple example if they and then click on create okay so this is our uh, UiPath studio and as you can see we don't have any uh, activities or, or any work uh, any flow chart in our uh, workflow because we are using we have selected a blank uh, project so first what we need to do is we need to uh, uh, take a flow chart activity just drag and drop okay so now this is our flow chart and we have a start node here now the start node will uh, uh, point to the starting uh, position of the uh, of the flow so for that we we need to take a sequence and i will take make this sequence as a start node okay double click on the sequence and inside the sequence right now we don't have anything so first thing what we need to automate is we need to open the browser so to open the browser we have an activity called open browser open browser drag and drop now after opening browser what we need to open is we need to open the google.com i can hard code the address that is http colon dot com okay so in the browser type you can also choose which browser you want to open like ie firefox or chrome i am going to use ie only so inside the open browser what we need to do is we are going to just hold on a second google right now we are in this space so in the search box it going to type nifty and then press enter okay so to type anything we use the activity called type into type into drag and drop type into and what I'm going to type is nifty n-i-f-t-y and then I'm going to press enter key also so I can just from a drop down list okay I can take enter key so it's 
done now and the next thing is it is going to copy this text okay for that what activity we can use is get text get text okay uh, we need to indicate from where we are going to take a text okay. just highlight over the text what you want to take click okay I want to store this text in any in some variable so first we need to create a variable I'm going to create a variable called rate string and do that's fine or flowchart okay so I have created a variable and I'm going to store this value inside a variable inside that variable okay now sec next thing is uh, we need to open a notepad just let me remove this so to open a notepad the activity we can use is open open application so let me just okay open application in open application I am going to indicate which application I want to open click on the notepad so now it is going to open our notepad application inside notepad uh, I need to type something like this nifty 50 date date like um, 2 10 16 and then rate rate is equals to what we have copied 8611 something like that I forgot uh, 15 something like that okay so this is the output what we need to have it in our notepad so we use uh, again we are going to type so we we are using an activity called type into inside type into first thing is we need to enter this as a string so in double quotes I will put this as a string okay and now we need to have a um, uh, current date no, to string. Okay. supplied okay date time dot no okay I'm going to assign it to another variable just remove this from here date now I'm going to take this as a date uh, date type date time and flowchart this also I will look at the flowchart so so now plus sorry we need to date now get dot now date time dot now oh I have mistakenly I have okay so now it should work yeah now we have this error because we have not uh, we have put plus but there is nothing as following so we need to show the date now dot to string okay. so and the next thing is we are going to type 
rate and the the variable so we have a string rate in our type plus and then in plus and wait so it will go and type like this in our notepad one more thing we can do is after uh, writing everything it will show a message box that it's done so we can take a message box, box activity and then we can uh, give a string as done so that's it I'm going to close all the windows and I'm going to run the activity or run the uh, robot just click on run So it, it opens Internet Explorer, it is opening the Google website. Now it's going to type nifty, correct? Typing in notepad and done. That's it. So we have created a robot which will open a simple application and we have seen how uh, our, our PA or robot process will work so thanks for watching and please subscribe and i will explain in, in the next tutorial on more in-depth de detail of the variables and all the activities properties recording screens screen scrapings everything so please follow me and uh, thanks for watching bye bye